Welcome to News Click. We have with us Dr. Prabodhan Paul, who is a historian and works in the Delhi University. He is to talk to us on the Bhima Koregaon violence that has erupted in uh, Maharashtra recently and the context of the Bhima Koregaon war that had taken place 200 years back. Welcome to News Click, Doctor. Hi. How important do you think is the Bhima Koregaon uh, for the Dalits across the country and especially in Maharashtra? Bhima Koregaon is a place where uh, this memorial is built by English East India Company and it is basically built in the honor of uh, those soldiers who fought against the Peshwas. So it's basically a source of inspiration for Dalits who had fought against Peshwas who are considered as as uh, someone who uh, ostracized them, someone who uh, exploited them, and that's why uh, they they celebrate that that victory, and it's basically a source of inspiration for them. Saying goes that there were only a few hundred soldiers and were fighting uh, more than 25,000, 28,000 odd Peshwa soldiers. Is it true historically yeah, or is there some exaggeration in the... No, obviously there is an element of exaggeration. Uh, there is no doubt about that. But what is important is that the, 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 the number of soldiers that fought against the, uh, the, the Peshwas were obviously in hundreds. So there were a few hundred peop, uh, soldiers and most of them were Mahars. Not only Mahars but other uh, uh, castes also like Marathas and Muslims also. Mm -hmm they fought against the Peshwas. But what is important is that they won the war okay. and the, the, uh, the number was quite huge as compared to their number. It is well known that the life of the Dalits in Peshwar rule was very bad. In fact, it had the most cruel forms of uh, exploitation where the Dalits had to have a pot in front of their uh, in front of their mouths and a broom to I mean to wipe out their footprints. Mm -hmm. Now that after the 20th century, th they say that Dr. Ambedkar visited the spot and from then on every January 1st, it was celebrated as a important event in the Dalit. So do you, why do you think that is an important event for the Dalits? A, uh, yes, uh, it was primarily because Ambedkar visited this, uh, this site. Uh, this site has received that kind of importance. Uh, especially after uh, 1947, 19, uh, 1947, in the in the post-independence period, you know, Ambedkar also tried to uh, use this symbol primarily because this is a symbol wherein uh, the Dalits can actually uh, take inspiration from from the victory and. Uh, uh, Ambedkar visited this site in 1927, and this is also a, a year in uh, where uh, in uh, where Ambedkar, in fact, started a very famous uh, Mahar Satyagraha. And uh, you you will see that how Ambedkar is trying to you know build his politics here. The the myth of uh, the the history of uh, of uh, uh, Koregao uh, was qu quite important. Is it because the Dalits, known as the Broken People? Had, did not have a history of their own being part of any of these, uh, I mean, having weapons because the Manusmriti says you are forbidden from holding weapons and your only occupation would be tending to the cleaning the streets or whatever and having a non material access to life. So, would you think he was actually energizing and taking, giving a confidence to the Dalits? Obviously, I think that that, that was the intention. You know, uh, most of the uh, the writers in late 19th century, except people like Fule uh, and others, uh, most of them have in fact uh, focused on the, on the negatives of Dalit history or negatives of, uh, uh, of, of Dalits. That's why I think in that context it was important for Ambedkar to you know invoke something which was uh, which would be considered as a as a as a positive history, okay. and um, Bhima Koregao. Uh, although many would uh, would argue that this history is basically contradicting with the the mainstream nationalist narrative, Ambedkar thought this history as a as a narrative, positive narrative of victory. So after two hundred years, this is the two hundredth year. How do you think this event of the Dalit celebrating this has grown over the years, and also because. This event, the Dalit celebrating, there's also a, a negative uh, feeling, or there is the dominant caste groups or the Hindutva forces uh, have attacked uh, this uh, 20th, uh, 
200th year celebration why what do you, what might be the reason behind this i think uh, if you look at the the celebrations the history of celebrations of uh, of uh, bhima koregao memorial you would see that the celebration uh, uh, in fact is a quite a recent thing you know for last 20 25 years people started celebrating bhima koregao obviously you know there is uh, this this uh, this narrative that is inscribed in dalit memory in the in in dalit narratives but what is important is that you know actual celebration started only after 1990s you know the organized celebration i'm talking about obviously many people you would go they used to go before that also but the organized the celebration started in 1990s and what is important here is to understand as the is that it is also a period post 1990s you would see that uh, dalits uh, started getting themselves organized dalit if you, if you look at the 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 education uh, amongst dalits the, the that also started uh, getting you know the, the 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 number of people who were uh, into education as compared to the dalits in 1990s you would see that there is a, 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 sub, a substantial difference so there is a substantial increase yeah. in uh, the, uh, the educated dalits so it was also the centenary year of dr ambedkar it was yeah. it was Did also, that, also yeah, play that, any that, role? that obviously that that played 1990s in fact uh, in fact uh, uh, changed the 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 contours of dalit politics that that is obviously the the, the decade was quite important and what is important is that from that then onwards for last 20 25 years you would see that dalits are getting organized and not only they are getting organized but they are quite articulate and and these people are ones who are also uh, quite conscious about their identity it's not that you know they have forgotten their identity they are they are quite conscious then they, they are very positive okay. so i think all these things uh, played very important role in the uh, the uh, the violence that took place uh, in uh, koregao because what happened was that uh, the hindutva forces they are um, uh, quite uncomfortable with the the politically conscious dalits they would be very happy to celebrate ambedkar but they don't want ambedkar's teachings to be uh, to be uh, imp- uh, imparted in that context there had been a history of violence on the dalits who were aspiring and who were articulate take it from the naming of the maratha marathwada university from then on can you throw some light on the history of violence yeah, yeah so uh, if you look at this violence if you compare this violence with the the violence that uh, happened before you would see that there is a remarkable change uh, now the the violence that you uh, just mentioned the that happened uh, in 1970s 80s uh, the in the in the uh, in the context of this namantar andolan or you know uh, also in the context of dalit panther movement obviously this violence was a Uh, violence perpetrated by dominant castes against dalits and this violence was not new this violence was happening for last you know 5 50 20 years you know at least there there there, there are written narratives about the uh, about this violence uh, what is important is that the uh, the the violence that took place in 70s and 80s was a localized affair it was basically a violence that uh, that was confined to village or group of villages and uh, it was it was it was basically planned or strategized or you know uh, uh, done uh, by people who were from that village so that that and obviously uh, the the caste hatred a uh, uh, caste prejudice played very important role no, but now what is the difference in the 2000s is there a sense of uh, hindutva element in this uh, violence being perpetrated on the dalits i think that's the the uh, that's the significant thing that we see uh, in uh, in last few years uh, the hindutva forces are actually trying to organize people especially from the uh, dominant communities like marathas uh, and uh, the the problem the predicament of marathas is that uh, for uh, since 1990s you would see marathas are actually facing Uh, uh facing a huge crisis and as a result of that you would see the youth uh 
are actually uh, you know they they are they are uh, getting diverted to different things because because of uh, unemployment because of lack of education because of you know lack of avenues employment avenues so that's why you know they are getting attracted to the hindutva ideology and you know hindutva forces are actually using this as an opportunity to uh, to attract them in their organization and perpetrate violence against dalits the dalits celebrate the maratha leaders for their uh, assertiveness in the anti brahmin movement say especially in maharashtra in the modern period you had sahuji maharaj and others who were vocal in giving rights to the dalits so what has been the change in the past 100 years in this relationship there, there is a interesting relationship between uh, marathas and dalits marathas uh there were there were many marathas right from you know na, from um, shivaji to Sh uh, shahu and uh, the leaders of non brahmin movement who actively supported dalits you know if you look at the the written history of 20th century written narratives of uh, 20th century you would see people like uh, shahu maharaj who were uh, instrumental in the establishment of uh, organized dalit politics in maharashtra they were uh, people like jaydhe keshorao jaydhe and dinkarao zawalkar who actively supported ambedkar uh, in uh, in his quest against untouchability uh, so there uh, at at an ideological level obviously there is uh, some kind of coherence we see between uh, dalits and uh, the the maratha ideologues who have who are obviously uh, quite progressive in their uh, in their outlook but when you look at the reality actual situation in the villages you would see that these marathas who are the dominant castes they are the ones who are the perpetrators of violence against the dalits obviously there there is a there is a caste hatred there is a caste vo caste violence involved and there is a history of caste violence what is important is that this violence that happened in uh, uh, on 1st january 2018 was was quite different uh, it uh, in fact it was the, the violence that uh, that uh, that that uh, uh, brought different elements and which were not a uh, traditional elements they were they were the ones who were who were basically uh, uh, associated with the hindutva elements and now you know that it has it has mixed up now otherwise the history of dalit and marathas from for last uh, 100 years obviously it's history of violence so but uh, the response to that violence also the dalits came out in huge numbers uh protesting so what how do you see the response of the dalits in this i think uh, response was uh, uh quite expected uh because uh, yeah, you know for last fight at least last 3 4 years you would see that uh, there is a concerted effort uh from hindutva groups to uh, instigate uh instigate dominant castes against dalits and you know maratha kranti morcha was one example uh and they also wanted to instigate marathas against against dalits and uh, uh marathas uh now as far as this uh, this the response from dalits is concerned the fadnavis government they in fact they took dalits for granted they thought that they would uh, they would get away with the violence they would you know they uh, they would uh, uh, say something and get away with the violence but the problem was that you know they actually uh, they 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 miscalculated this this uh, this violence and they did not know what what would be the fallout of the uh, of the violence and seeing the response now one one see one can see that uh, there is uh, the 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 government is basically you know uh, on the back foot what we see is that uh, after the the organized mobilization from dalits uh, people from the right wing and uh, hindutva forces they are not very comfortable and that's why they are on the back foot now with the dalits coming out onto the streets and showing their anger that they will not take the hindutva forces lying down and has put the hindutva forces in maharashtra on a back foot on this note we thank prabodhan for coming to news click thank you for watching news click do subscribe and watch news click